Hey guys, what's up? It's the Ghastly Gengar, and last time we played the Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth, we did an Isaac run, and it turned out pretty well. As you can see right here, I was actually doing a run, but the game got screwed up about two minutes in, so we were still on the first floor, um, and we're basically just... I'm just going to start a new one because I don't see a point of starting you halfway through the floor. Um, but usually I play as Isaac or... Uh, Zazel when I play, which is just because I'm bad at the game and I need the easy way out. But I'm going to try doing different characters for this run because I know that each character has their own special thing that makes them unique and I think Magdalene is a first step in the right direction. And I originally wasn't planning on a like recording the episodes quite yet. I wanted to release the first episode of like next week or the week that you got it and then just kind of let it sit and just see how people like that and then record the next one or upload the next one and let people just kind of take that in. But uh, I, I got a kind of burst of energy because and I, I know it's oh oh triple okay oh this is this is fine. I thought it was going to be that thing from last time that just screwed us over. Um, but uh, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, I did. Tw I tweeted. Um, well, I did tweet. I replied to one of the completionist tweets about releasing a video, um, and I was like, "Oh, great! Like, not nah, not like a dick. Oh, great! Like, oh, great! A new video." That's awesome. I can't wait to see. I love all the stuff you post. So this is definitely going to be like another thing I'm definitely going to watch. And he replied to the tweet with like a little Snoopy hug. Like gif. And I died a bit on the inside. But in a good way. Not like, oh my god. But like. So the completionist is someone who I definitely look up to. And I definitely like want to try to be like one day or I, it's weird to say that because I've never really looked up to anyone it, it might be something weird to say but it's not like it like it was always a problem in school because people would be like oh write a paper about who you look up to and I'm like what, what if I don't look up to anyone and it's like it's gotta be somebody it's like no not not really and the completionist is just that cool dude that you know you want to try to be like, even though you know that they probably have their own things that they're dealing with in the background, that they don't bring to light. But at the same time, it's like... But I still want to make the content, or make content like he does, that makes a crap ton of people happy, like, they, like it made me happy. And also I'm pretty sure these cards both do the same thing. Well, we'll figure that out after we beat the boss. Um... And I'm just trying to look for a key. Uh, but when it comes to. I. Did, it's hard to explain. Like. I always try to work hard on the videos that I do make. You know, when I, when I can actually f get myself to make them. So. I'm glad that I could have made someone's someone who I really look up to day maybe just a little bit better like because he, he was he, he, like he said he was having a really crappy morning earlier on Twitter and you know if he felt if he feels a little bit better after just me just saying that I appreciate his videos I, I feel like I made his I feel like I might have made his day just a little bit worth it like you know and it's nice because usually when you go on Twitter and you like tweet something at somebody, it just gets like a like or something, and then you know it's just completely disregarded for the rest of the day. Or if you like, like I do, I think I, I have like a few followers that may reply to my tweets on there, and they're really cool. They're usually people who like watch my videos and just don't really comment that much. Um. Fuck it. Why did I do that? Why did I say fuck it and do that? That wasn't worth it. That wasn't worth it. Why? Why you do? 
Let's go to the Joker room. Maybe that can up. You know, I'll take the two black hearts. I won't take the baby because I don't want another. F I don't. I don't want a follower then. Maybe the black hearts would help with the damage. Because even though we have the triple tiers and it's great coverage, I don't feel like it's enough. Um, hopefully, do um, hopefully, I'm definitely hoping for a uh, damn drop. But recently, I haven't really started recording stuff again after Glaze because I just haven't felt the motivation that I lost like halfway, not halfway through Glaze. I want to say near the very end of Glaze, when they forced us to go through that third region, is when I lost like a little bit of motivation because it just seemed like it was going on forever. I just wanted. To just have a break and I feel like the three weeks or like almost I, I feel like it might be almost two months now break that I've had after it I, I feel like that's a long enough time to say I need to start recording stuff and I've been actually thinking because I do want to do prism but at the same time I don't want to tackle another Pokemon game so close right off the bat and I don't know what other game people might want to watch like I've suggested I, I suggest things but I don't really get a response on them I've suggested Stardew Valley but no one's commented on it I want to do the streams again but that's not my ability to do so right now so The Last of Us Deluxe Edition will have to wait and it kind of sucks because that would have been like the most relative video I could have made because it was around the time the like the game was the remake or whatever or the uh, not the remake, but the um, sequel, I think, is coming out. Uh, you can go to the item in this floor. And I was looking forward to doing something relevant for once. Um, I don't... Like, if you don't know uh, how YouTube gaming, or gaming on YouTube really works, basically it's kind of like whenever there's a new game or something out, it's almost crucial to try to make a series about that almost instantly because since it's a new game a lot of people are going to be looking it up and you know they might be using your videos as reference to their opinion if they want to buy it or not but you know so far i've been making videos on games that either are way past like the point of ever being relevant or maybe another person who is a little bit bigger than you on youtube has made them relevant like, uh, if I were to play Spore, it'd probably be, be like, if I got many views, it'd probably only be because, um, another YouTuber is playing Spore right now or something. Like, it's hard. Especially when I have a computer that can't really run the games that everyone wants to play or wants to see. And I do try my hardest with it. Like, I, I try, I, I, like, we'll try to get my hands on the game, and if I do, I will run a test on my computer, see how well it won. Well, it runs. Wow, I turned into, like, a five-year-old. How well it runs, but then as soon as I start recording, my computer basically wants to implode. Shit, there's a rock over there. Hey. bomb that's not bad but like there, there are games that I do want to play like uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth but I know a lot of people hate Digimon I don't know why they hate it but I just know that they are not fans and it's gonna be really hard to get people to watch a series that they probably won't be interested in like I Though I do have friends who want to, who like talk about Digimon and stuff, they didn't really watch the series until I like asked them like, "Hey, do you watch this? No. Why don't you check it out and give me your opinion?" And I've had people just watch the first two seasons of Digimon and be like, "Yeah, that that wasn't bad," and we talked about it, 
and since Digimon Tri is a thing, you know, all that, and there's a new Digimon game coming out, uh, Digimon World Next Order, like, I'm, the Digimon hype is kind of real, it's just that not a lot of people like it, like, and a lot of people do follow the sheep mentality where they're, if one person doesn't like it and they look up to that person that all of a sudden they all start following thinking, yeah, well, I don't like it either because, and they'll list all the same exact reasons. And, I mean, some of them are sheep. I, I will say I've fallen victim to this once, but just, there's a lot of times where people will legit give the same reasons but made that opinion a long time before whoever made a video about it like um, Sonic Adventure 2 and Pro Jared and I'm using this as an example because it's come up in so many arguments in like my own friendships and it's like I've always had this thing about Sonic Adventure 2 where I think it's a game and it's okay but I don't I don't like it that much. Like, the first stage is as far as I'll say of me liking it. And that's just because it's Escape from the City, you know? It's the song that everybody loves and everyone, like, jams out to. It was even, like, a major part in, um, Sonic Generations. And Monster. Alright, this shouldn't be hard. Should not be hard. Then again, I'm playing. Um. And... Like, Pro Jared made a video, and he said exactly this, like, he hates the game for reasons, and he lists them all, and he's like, but he was getting death threats and shit for him. First of all, that's fucking stupid. Like, it's a Sonic game, they all haven't been good. I mean, yes, there are a good, lot of good Sonic games, but just because your nostalgia prefers Sonic Adventure 2 doesn't mean that you should personally take an opinion at, or a view as fact or a personal attack, you know? Because that's what people do. They, they take solid reviews and they take it as personal attacks and then they get really angry at the person who either made the review or did whatever and it's not their fault. Like, they just wanted to give, they get, they not wanted to, they gave their opinion on something that they legit thought and I don't know what this is. I know what this is, I don't know what, why I want soul hearts, I don't have any. Um, that's save my run. Let's go with this one. Control T. Oh, it's not bad. I'm not gonna pick up Guppy's Pop because I'm afraid it's gonna kill me. Alright, booster pack. Um, the world, I think, is the all map. Hangman is flying, and Joker is Devil Room. Now, I do want to try to unlock a Zazel because eventually we will have to do that run. I'm not saying we'll do it now. But if we get another health up or something, it's, the Devil Room's definitely worth checking out. So these tiers definitely... I mean... They're kind of like the... The tiers we had the last run, with, or the first run with the giant eye. But... It's... Definitely easier because if you want they could just keep going the same direction, you know, like there are multiple tiers It's it's good um, I don't know what that does. Um, I don't know a lot of the items. I also want to apologize for rambling like that I do it a lot in my videos if you haven't picked up the pattern already uh, like I I hate it but it's something that I do. I like to ramble. I like to get real sometimes. And my friends, or my fr Lord Chuckleton, I think is the main uh, one subject to this. Because we will be sitting up late on... Like, last night was one of those things because the the Switch, like, re reveal trailer happened. And it was really good. And I, I guess I'll talk about it. Because uh, I don't plan on making like a full video about it because I don't really care that well. I don't. It's not that I don't care. It's just that I'm not. not f I'm not fully invested in buying a console like the console yet. And basically, my thing is like 
I have fucking huge hands. It's, it's honestly, like, it's kind of like a thing. Like, uh, oh shit, how do I get over there? I, I can't. I'm able to fly. I, it was a major contributing factor into me buying the drawing tablet I was working with, or I am working with. Because using smaller hardware is extremely hard because it makes my hands cramp and stuff. And the controllers for the, the Wii U or the Switch's tablet mode or whatever it is are just really tiny. Like, they are smaller than the palm of my hand and I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. Like, using a regular size 3DS for more than an hour makes my hands hurt. Also, why am I trying to strafe? Like, I could do that. And we got a- You shitting me? I can't. <laughs> I fucking hate this game. Oh, come on. That's two. That oh, man. I wish we were Guppy. I didn't- I didn't put down the bomb. I- I didn't press that button. So it's- oh fucking hell. I'm not- like I said many times before, I'm not good at this game, so if I make stupid fuck up moves, that's- that's why. It's because I'm bad at the game. It's- there's no other excuse for it. I'm not gonna blame lag, because it's- it's not lag. But, yeah, like... Um, the controllers were small, um, that was a huge thing. I can't really go into more detail about that because that's just that. Um, the games that were coming out, like, if there were more, like, consoles coming out on release date other than the Breath of the Wild because though I do want Breath of the Wild I don't think it's like something I, I, I'm not saying that Breath of the Wild is going to be it's just not something that I was hyped for in the first place like I, I enjoy Zelda games I'm just not like oh my god a new Zelda game is coming out I need to play it immediately like I, if, if I play a Zelda game or if I come across it yeah I'll play it but I don't think Zelda is ever going to be the selling point of a console for me. Um, usually that would be Pokemon, you know? But everyone has their own taste in video games, so it's completely reasonable. Come on, floating item. Give me a floating item. Cool. Nope. I was gonna say maybe he has like shoes. I don't know. I, I don't know. No. Don't you? Okay, I was gonna say don't you bomb that statue and get me a boss fight because I'm not ready for a Krampus or whatever fight. Um. But for the games that they say they released, um, Xenoblade Two was definitely something I was not expecting. I, like, even the art style and the way it was being presented, I'm like, this is not, it's not Xenoblade 2. But right off the bat, Lord Chuckling was immediately like, yeah, it's Xenoblade 2. We're getting this. How is this a thing? And, like, I can, I can understand why, like, Xeno, I, I, I don't know why, like, for some reason he acted like Xenoblade 2 coming out was, like, this huge thing. Not like, it's not like a huge like moment, but more like, but this makes no sense. Why is it Xenoblade 2? What about the other Xenoblade game, even though that was an indirect like game time, I think. Well, at least that was how I felt about it. Because I don't feel like the other Xenoblade game that was released on Wii U was actually like a full on Xenoblade sequel. Like, that's just from what I heard though, not what I've seen, because it just doesn't look or from what I've heard people say, it doesn't feel like a, like, a direct Xenoblade game. You fucking... Let's, let's take advantage of these tears, you know? 
Like we have them. okay with that um it's just that i i still need to beat the first xenoblade game and i'll do that whenever i get my hands on a nunchuck because i was 100 percenting that game even though that's like an insane fucking thing apparently I, apparently i just didn't comprehend the game and how big it was actually going to be when i first started playing but either way i've been doing every side quest so far and i haven't played it or i haven't been able to pick it back up for a while now and i just hope that by the time i do pick it up back up that i'm not instantly like yeah whatever the, it, I'm not excited about this anymore because that Xenoblade's a great game like I was having a lot of fun and it was kind of a mixture of because it's like a real time strategy or I guess real time strategy I, I don't not really um but real time action like fighting action or RPG I don't know you if you hit a button you hit you, you attack at the same time <laughs> It's I, I like games with real-time fighting, you know? Like, Final Fantasy XV is definitely a huge yes game for me at this point. Like, I love Final Fantasy XV. Or, apparently there's a commercial in Japan called Final Cup Noodle- or Cup Noodles XV, and it's just replacing random things in Final Fantasy XV with just giant cup noodles. Either way, like, can't wait for Xenoblade to come out. I was, I, I lost my shit when I started seeing, like, the Shin Megami Tensai characters in the Unreal Engine. Like, I, I, Jack Frost and all that other stuff in fucking Unreal was just unreal. <laughs> um, I, it's definitely, I, I've never played a Shin Megami Tensai game. So, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to just pick that up and get into it, because I don't know if there's, like, an overall story of the games, like, or if it's, like, Final Fantasy, where it's just every game is doing its own story, and it's just, uh, you know, I just don't know if it's gonna be something I could pick up the console for. Um, Splatoon 2, I feel like there was a definite miss with that, because they didn't call it Splatoon. And I refuse to call it Splatoon 2 uh, after this point, but it definitely looks great. And they're adding uh, Splatoon characters and maps to uh, to Mario Kart, which is definitely a selling point for me buying Mario Kart. I already have Mario Kart 8, but it's physical, so of course I'm not gonna be able to play it on the Switch, especially since this is coming out with so many new features and everything. Oh yeah, I forgot I had these flies that block shots. And still get hit by every single fucking shot. Well, I'm bad. Um, the 1 2 switch. I feel like it's going to be the kind of gimmick game of the console. Like how Nintendo Land was the gimmick game for the Wii U and uh, Wii Sports was the one for the Wii. Um, if done correctly, I think it could be fun. Like, Wii Sports is something that people can always suggest, like, Wii Bowling. And everyone would just be like, yeah, let's let's play Wii Bowling. But with, uh, Nintendo Land, um, it was fun for, like, a few hours at most for me, in, in my opinion. I just didn't really like it, and most of the games were centered around playing with other people, or, you know, just stuff I didn't really care that much for. And... Okay. Spoon. Did we get the item room on the swar? We did, and that was... not F8. That was, I think, the flies. So... Also, with the controllers, they mentioned something like um, how 
they have 4D vibration, something like that, where it's like if you're holding a cup uh, a cup of ice and there's one ice in it or one ice cube in it, you shake the controller, it feels like you're shaking a cup with one ice cube in it, and I feel like that's going to contribute to maybe a virtual uh, VR system. Like, don't quote me on that, um, but it would make a lot of sense to have like the controllers kind of not add a weight, but like, well, I guess have a weight inside that may just like react to whatever happening in the game, and that would honestly be a really cool step to the way of VR, especially since you don't have to have a huge like clunky controller like the um like the Vive one or the the ones that are out for the Oculus Rift now. The Oculus Touch, I think it's called. I, I don't know, but I feel like there's definitely going to be an add-on for virtual reality support because that's the the main gimmick for 2016 and 17. I feel. But I honestly, right now, don't see it as. Right now, I see virtual reality as a gimmick or just kind of a. I don't really see it as a full-fledged thing, even though a lot of games are making use of it. I don't. I don't think it's really going to go far, quite yet. I feel like at some point it will, you know, move on with something, like, come out with something that it's actually relevant. But right now, most of the virtual reality games are just kind of like... Just there. Fucking goddammit. But if the Nintendo... If the Nintendo Switch can actually take advantage of it... Uh, I feel like it might move past the whole gimmick stage, you know? another key <clears throat> but I feel like Nintendo definitely has what it takes to fuck it, damn it. <laughs> to make virtual reality a full-fledged like thing to be hyped for like yeah oculus rift oh crap Achoo! oh god no I didn't have enough time to press the mute button on my mic um I feel like virtual Re like Nintendo definitely has kind of like the games that you would expect virtual reality from, uh, from. Though, I don't think any of the titles that they have currently are something that I can see on virtual reality, except maybe Mario Kart. Um, you could use the vibration functions in the uh, things that actually make it feel like you're steering the wheel or getting hit by something. Oh, crap. No, I don't want to lose this run. I don't want to lose this run. Excuse me while I shut up. No! <laughs> well, that looks like that's the end of this one. I would start another run, but this is already almost half an hour long, and yeah. I, I guess I'll continue my talk of the Nintendo Switch in the next episode, which I decided that the f one episode would go up on Tuesday and one on Thursday, and that will happen every week. I don't have any kind of full-fledged series in mind right now and though I do have a few games that I am thinking about doing it I'd rather see if I can get an optimal setup before I start doing so so I hope you enjoyed this run and fuck next time we're gonna try another Magdalene run I don't know why maybe uh, uh, just cuz I feel like it we didn't do we, we didn't do too bad this run. Well, I think the overall problem in the end was my fault completely and my abilities. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a like down below. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And comment down below maybe a seed or something you want to see me try to run. Or maybe give me a challenge where it's like I can only pick up the this item or these kind of items, you know. I can only kill enemies with bombs until our I don't know 
um, like in your seed where you hit like 99 bombs on the first floor or something, and then I can only do a bomb run. Uh, or I could just do challenge mode if you want. If you guys want to see the challenges I unlocked. So, until next time, I hope you all I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. Actually, I said that backwards. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. And until next time, bye bye.